then he fucking started to fall. Uh, immediately, there is a bit of chaos from the guards as one, the other guard that was with him kind of stands up and looks to you. Did you do that? No, no. Of course not. Give me a bluff check. Right. I'd say you have a minus two because of that crit fail. Fair. Uh, you just like... No beat Can stick. I use him as a weapon? Am I big enough? <laughs> yeah, you go do have a decent strength. What are you trying to do with him? Go medieval on his ass and rip his arm out of his socket and use that as a blunt instrument. That was kind of what I was thinking. You're going to pull his arm off? Yeah. Give me an athletics check. Um, you two. <laughs> what is... What are these two people... What what's happening with these two today? What the fuck, dude? Prison life changes a bitch. And Donnie's looking at us like, what? Uh, and then Donnie goes to kind of help you out. Yeah, you go, you go for the and tug. It's, it's not, it's not, it's, he's pulling, but like, the suit's too tight, and you're like, what did you, what did you say? You're like, no, that wasn't me. Uh, and, uh, but I, I, I'm gonna notice the ground, right? Like, I'm gonna see them f- fucking with them. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, oh shit, look at that over there! And you just, there. like, you just hear the subtle, like, the popping of the occasional tendon as he's, like, trying to fucking, as he's, like, trying to pop it, you just hear, like, there, uh, yeah, Lush, oh shit, look over there! <laughs> oh he, my god, what's that? Do you what's happening down there? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's gotten up at this point, and uh, he looks down, like, looks at you, quickly looks down, uh, but you're still 30 feet away from him, and he, like, looks down for a moment, looks up to you, and then just shouts, ALARM! <laughs> and, uh, you can see the guards over at the watchtower mm-hmm. have already been paying attention, and now it looks like they're scrambling up, uh, and, uh, I moving will, towards the weapons locker. I will behind. rush back to the, uh, to the watchtower. Okay, yeah. Um, you can see the other guard that just shouted alarm is running back as well, and he's in front of you. Uh, the guards in the watchtower are unlocking the weapons locker, and it looks like they've hit a button, and, uh, there's some, uh, a, a small alarm going off. As, uh, as you start running back, and they're loading up as they, or they're loading up with these, uh, those batons they had earlier. And it looks like one guy pulls a rifle, and, uh, Turns that rifle right towards you as you're running up, up towards them. What are you doing? Uh. Okay. <laughs> I have it. He, point, he points the gun right at you and just stop right there. All of our costumes are identical, right? Yes. And as far as you can tell, yes. And uh, there is uh, no way to differentiate them? Other than stature and size. Fair enough. Regardless, the guard in front of you is uh, running over there and it's, uh, pointing to you and trying to get out words about it. Uh, he did something. Guard fell. He did something. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to stand. Uh, I'm going to hold my hands up and say, I have no idea what they're talking about. Give me bluff jacket, sir. As you, you try to pull his arm off and Donnie's like, yeah, shit. It starts trying to pull it off as well and it's not coming off. It's not coming off. What are you doing? Can we uh, do the children thing and take the costume and have... Don be on top and be on the bottom and just try to get out of this riot. <laughs> um, well, to be honest, you look around, there's not really much of a riot other than you two fucking with his unconscious guard. There are other people who are like, stop standing and just kind of watching it. You guys, uh, there's a few guards up above that are looking down, watching you as you try and do this, and, uh, some are moving towards the watchtower. Presumably that gate's gonna open in a hot minute and, uh, and send guards. 
Pirate's Apple. Mm, but you do what you want. Because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. I'm going to take his hat. Oh, well, they have, like, full body suits. Oh, full body suits? They're full body. They're environmentally protected from the gas. Oh, yeah, true. Um, can we get him out of that suit? What's that? Can we get him out of the suit? Absolutely. Give me an intelligence check. Um, two. I ain't going to do it. Uh, looks like a zipper mechanism. I don't even think Donnie would know what you're doing with a two. As yeah. Donnie's still trying to pull the arm off, and you're, like, fucking around the neck. He's like, Wait, what are you doing? You don't want his head? He's trying still to, trying to pull his arm off. I'm trying to take off the suit. It, what? Uh, 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 uh. Fuck no, he also got a two. And he starts fiddling around with the suits. As well, he's like, it's got to come off somehow. And he starts pulling on the helmet. And Jake, you're pulling on the helmet, too, and it's not, nothing's, it's not coming off. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've just pointed the, the, the rifle at you and told you to stop where you. I thought to me, I was like, you need that's left. Yeah. yeah. You should have pulled a mystique and go like, what are you, I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one that just pushed him off the, uh, the ledge and... <laughs> he goes, he points the guard at him. Points the guard. <laughs> points the guard at him, picks him up, is like, him! Shoot at him! <laughs> that's what I want <laughs> picks, to do. Picks, pulls the gun towards you, is like, looks to the other guard. You said... You said... No, he's not in Don's voice. You said he pushed him off? You say he, you say he pushed him off. <laughs> I, 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 I was pretty man. You say he pushed off? You pushed I, pretty I, boy I, down? I wasn't anywhere near him. Mm. I I started seeing him fall and, and I jerked my head over. He's he's like, come on, Chad. It's it's Chad, you know, he likes he likes to uh, he likes to pick on all the new hires. He What the fuck? He looks over to, the, to his other guard. Looks over to you. Look, man, this is an emergency. Let's focus on that first. Sure. We deal. We get him out, but I'm taking both of you into custody. Okay. Uh, Interrogation. Okay. All right. Uh, I go. Uh, I go to the locker. Yeah, you go over to the locker. Um, and there's a few more of those little batons there. Mm-hmm. You grab one. I grab one. He grabs one. And he's like, uh, one of the guards looks over at you. The other guard, not the guard with the rifle, but the guy that was actually was like. Uh, you know how to use them, right? Of course. Cool. Anyways. Uh, yes, absolutely. Let's go get Charles. As he starts leading uh, the, four, the four of you guys down. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I'll, I will follow suit. Um, I will. I will. I mean, we can see the guards start. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see the guards at the watchtower are having this conversation, mm-hmm. and now they start fuddling down as you're like, no, my body. Can we drag the body away from all these people? And so you're a longer? Bridge, yes, you start dragging the body away. It's like, uh, uh, so dragging it with you. And you can see the drones that were originally like flying above and surveying. Some of them stopped and like looked at you. And now more have a mast as the, well, there's about 18 cameras watching you from various angles. They start dragging this body away. Give me a uh, athletics check to see how, how uh, fast you drag 16. this thing. That's pretty good. We have a plus, I'd say a plus. Probably plus six for uh for him. Twenty two. Twenty two. The ball. Special nineteen. You immediately uh, start dragging uh, this guard away. Apparently named Charles. Uh, hustling. He's dying. Sure. Like, Donnie's dragging. He's like, I don't know. This is a good idea. Uh, at this point, you probably hear the commotion from yourself as you're whittling, as you finish whittling away this little stick. And you're like, yeah, oh, I get sure, a. I get a. I get a uh, well, I mean, it relatively speaking for my size, a fucking Bowie knife. But uh, but for like, but for everybody but else, that's scaled down. To it's, like yeah, it's like it's like like that big. So uh, yeah, I'm like, all right now. Now this is a knife. I, 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 I shove it up my ass, and then I uh, and then I go, well, time to time to test this bad boy out. Give me a slide of hand check. Slate of ass check. I don't actually keister it. I, I like okay. stuff it in my jumpsuit. Yeah, I know. I stuffed it in my jumpsuit. I, I could tell what you meant when you were doing the little stuffy thing with your shirt, even though you did say. So is he? If I can stuff this at all? Or um, is he no. At his job? He's he's not at his job. He's had his cell whittling away oh, on okay. the third at the third of Ron's fucking table legs or chair legs, bed legs, Christ, bed posts. Bed. I got nine. <laughs> nine. All right, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, you. Stuff it away and it looks nice and secure. Can barely even see it. And you can hear the distant. I, I just like, yeah, I come, I come out of my cell 
and you're dragging crap. around the you're dragging these guys around the corner. The gate opens up at this point. Mm -hmm. As uh, as what you see, the fuck? you see all of Donnie dragging <laughs> the body of Charles, uh, so unconscious, presumably unconscious, <laughs> maybe dead, away from you. And, and they both like look up at you, and you look up at them, and they, they start turning the corner, carrying this body. Mm -hmm. They're dragging the body away. I, I, imagine, I imagine there's more than a few guards out here now. Yes, at this point, there's people behind, more guards behind you that are trying to rush out. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, with the other three people on your watch wall, uh, three of them like dart off chasing after you guys. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to try and blend in with the crowd of uh, of guards as gotcha. best as I can. Absolutely. You take your baton and start hustling with the rest of them. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, all of a sudden, a sea of guards is starting to charge at you when you're around the corner. Uh, and then they're like, hey, stop, stop, stop the body. Uh, I'm also, I'm going to try and, like, funnel myself to the back of the crowd of guards. Okay. Uh, as, as subtly as I can. I'm just going to run a little slower. Yeah. Give me a stealth check. I was tempted to say block, but this feels more like a stealth check. So, so what's the layout looking like? Are we just surrounded now? Or um, well... Or is there, I'm like, need to use different ways we can roll. start running? So, the way like... is, you, you went down one way, and uh, you rounded a right, which was towards yourself. Um, and then from there, you have to go down another way, and then it's like a left and right. It's like going through a maze. Okay. Just say it's right. Like, and there's, really again, on all the sides of these walls, uh, uh, there's some guards uh, that are up there. And there's drones following you around and fucking recording you with security cameras. As you start dragging this body away, Don's like, hey, I think we should just leave this body. I just want to get your ass beaten. <laughs> Yep. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and you, the fucking both of you dart off. Um, no need to judge a book by his cover. Maybe he does like his ass getting beaten. Absolutely. What'd you get? Five. Okay. You, uh, you, um, you try and, like, funnel back, and more of the guards are pushing into you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you can either, like, go with the flow and be at the front, or, like, actually noticeably force your way back. Which one are you doing? I will go here. with the flow. Go with the flow, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, you run forward. Uh, so. The guards are going forward, and they're approaching the corners, about to turn around. Mm -hmm. uh, Did I, are we both, like, wanted from the security footage, or was it just, like, the drones on my face or your face? Uh, the drones, you're not so sure what the drones do other than okay. record you. Um, and at this point, Don's like, yeah, just fucking run. And you, he scurries off. I'm assuming you scurry off as well? Yeah, but opposite way. Or not opposite, opposite but like, Yeah, he goes down one corner, you yeah. go down the other. Uh, the, the crowd of guards turns a corner, and uh, you see uh, Donnie running after you made a right. Donnie taking another right, and then R will, like, making a left. Mm -hmm. um, uh, at this point, the sound of guards has gotten a little bit closer. That's the uh, I, uh, I see this happening. I, um... My my uh, my eloquent strategic rat brain doesn't see any way out of this, so I just go back into my cell. Mm -hmm. Smart man, <laughs> smart man. Go back into your cell. A uh, crowd of guard. They just watch me. Just right back into my fucking cell. Uh, the guards go over to the body at this point, which is left about halfway down the uh, mm -hmm. down that path. Uh, and um, everyone is just like focusing on the body, right? I, a lot I, of people are, well, everyone's focusing on the body. No one's noticed you trying to get behind people. Mm -hmm. Everyone just kind of pushed you forward and yep. the crowd. Uh, the guard that had the rifle, it looks like he might be some sort of like small captain or lieutenant or something, uh, points over and uh, points over to four guards behind him and like, you get after the prisoners. Uh, mm -hmm. Points over to the people. You, I want you to get Charles in a sick bay. Uh, and then points to you and the other guy. Both of you are coming with me. Professor Charles. Oh shit, was Charles alive? <laughs> Might be. You don't know. He's like the whole time, like, uh, uh, his were dragging him. And, like, I said he was unconscious. Yeah, he just, like, ripped his he's arm like, off. He's like drooling in the helmet, dude, when he wakes and up. And you're like, fucking trying to get his, his arm, arm off. off. <laughs> Thank God you weren't successful. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, he points to you, just like, you two, you're coming with Man. me. Man, awkward. I thought I was dead this whole time. I thought he was useless. I was like, screw you, Charles, and you're just the body, but no. Anyways, you just a body with a body. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, is he like staring at us as we walk away, or as we follow him? Not really. He's just gonna kind of turn and, and walk. Okay. Uh, the other guy's gonna follow him. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I I will follow as well. I'm gonna wait till they turn a corner. Okay. Um. Give me a. Give me a. 
actually turn a corner. It's not that hard. Yeah, but you do have to be kind of like purposefully behind them. Yeah. That's the thing. Sure. Um, give me a stealth. Give me a bluff check. Give me a bluff check. Um. I'm fucking incompetent today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I died. Yeah. Uh, 12. 12. Oh, well. Um. Uh, he goes forward along with the other guard, mm-hmm. and uh, and they both are just going forward, mm-hmm. approaching the corner, and the guard in front of you, or the guard, the other guard that was accusing you, looks back at you, and uh, presumably giving you an ugly stare if you can't see over the mask. Mm-hmm. He's like, it just presumably he's giving you an ugly stare as he turns, looks back at you, and then looks forward again, mm-hmm. and they both turn the corner. Uh, as they turn the corner, are, are there any cameras on me? Isn't this Perception a check. A camera? Nah. Perception check. Because there are, there are a number... Oh, really? oh, it's alright, it's too late. There are right. a number of guards around you. No, not guards. Drones around you, this is already actively looking at you, this perception check. Okay. Uh, well, I, I got a seven anyways. Uh, or a six, excuse me. Six? Yeah. Um, you give it. A, you don't have a lot of time, so you give it a quick glance, and uh, maybe none of them are looking at you. You better hope none are looking at you. As soon as they turn the corner, then press. Uh, yeah, turn off my hologram. Absolutely. Um, you turn off the hollow skin and immediately are uh, back in your normal form, holding your jumpsuit and holding the baton in your hand. Uh, I'm. I'm going to wait. <laughs> Put that away as yeah. quick as you can. Yeah. He keistres it faster than Give me a slide of hand check man. to see how quickly you can get this thing uh, out of sight. As keistered it before he. <gasps> well, it's not terrible. Ten. Ten. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, you quickly are like, just fucking put it somewhere and mm-hmm. you just stuff it down your jumpsuit mm-hmm. and just hope no one sees it. Roll and uh, one of the guards that is handling the body turns around and goes, Where'd you come from? I've been here. I'm okay, whatever. Yeah. And they start they start uh, dragging Charles's body back the way they came. Fair okay. enough. I'm going to Rosa the guard. I'm going to ignore the guards and walk back to the cell. Yep. Uh. Yeah. As you uh as you start walking back to your cell, the uh, two guards that you just ditched mm-hmm. about like 15 seconds later uh, come rushing around the corner and looking. Uh, let's see if they fucking yeah they, they they don't they have no idea as they're looking uh, and they at they point the guard to the other guards like where'd he go. And they're like, I, I don't. They went with you. Uh, and they're like, no, they didn't go with. They didn't go with me. They obviously stayed here with you. Where'd they go? And the one guy's like, I, I don't know. They, they, I, I didn't. See. No, 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 no. no. They, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, Joe Swanson from Family. And that's guy. the conversation that's happening as you, as you leave around the corner. I'm just gonna walk with confidence. Yep. And not care about the commotion around. Me. Absolutely. There's. There's not a lot of commotion more than there are prisoners watching you, and That's some of them are like wa- like watching you. Probably saw what happened, but no one's saying anything. Mm-hmm. And uh, it smells like a slim gym in here. Sorry, sorry, I only got a thick gym. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was proud of that one. And uh, you run around the corner, and you you're you're right, you're hauling ass, you're hauling ass. You expect guards to be behind you, and there's there's no guards following you. My phone I'm gonna start to drop them. Yeah. 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 Start slowing down. Like, <laughs> so the cameras are still like, drones are still following you. Oh, but yeah. look, there's no guards. Oh, so the drones are still following? Some you? drones. It looks like some of them have tailed off. You've got now about like three drones still like following you. Then I'm gonna start booking it again. To, like, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely book it again. Tr- uh, and then I'm gonna try to see if I can like turn a corner. And if there's like any type of bin or anything that I can just like dive into. <laughs> Give me a. Uh, Trash can, anything, fucking but condom. Keister myself up someone's butt. Let's do it. Become yeah, give me someone's meat check. puppet. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, you can quickly like you're uh, hustling around a corner, or, like going hustling around cell another and corner, just... and you hustle around a corner. Hey, you mind if I vibe in here for a couple minutes? Yeah. Yeah, and you uh you start to approach. Uh, you kind of remember this layout of the the the, 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 the maze. The maze is kind of like set up in these different modules. You know, like, oh, that's the security closet where you do the hazing ritual. But, like, in a different module. Yeah. Like, same thing, just copy paste it somewhere else. So you quickly barge in there and just close the door shut as uh, two of the drones. Yeah, one of the drones has lost you, and the other two fall past you, and one smacks into the door, and the other one, like, stops and, like, looks at the door. Kind of, like, puts the camera up to it, and then goes away. 
as uh, you're inside alone in the janitor's closet. You are in your cell, and uh, after a few minutes, I'm uh, vibing with my knife out of my jumpsuit and on the bed. I'm fucking like I'm practicing. You're doing the fucking butterfly knife tricks. You see us go knife tricks. <laughs> oh fuck! I yeah, and it. you see, you see. Give me a, uh, give me a uh, fucking slide of hand check. I'm like, fuck, fuck. I'm so good. The drone just flies by, staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> Frick, I'm so good. And you see uh, Ollie fucking playing with his knife <laughs> as you walk in the door. It's more not a knife, and more like a, a fucking the, the, the front end of a wooden spear. Yo, uh, put that put that away. Eight. Put that away. Uh, I it fucking head. falls to the ground right out of your hands. I, I I see that in his head. Yeah. Yeah, he catches me by surprise and I'm like, put that away in your head. I uh, I zip up my fly. What the hell are you thinking? Having having the knife out? It's not a knife. These bad boys it's right here. These are knives. It's a rope. And you can still feel it's still a little dull from earlier, but it's sharpening up a little bit. It's they growing. Didn't, they didn't fucking uh, blunt those when you came in. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're alone in yourself. Uh, okay. Actually, Ron will be there with you the whole time. All right. Uh, no, hold on. Ron, where have Ron been at this point? Ron would have left. Yeah, Ron would. Ron wouldn't be here right now. Uh, I, I'm gonna say again in my head. Yeah, uh, bomb like, no longer on the run right now. Uh, um, the bomb is no longer. You are not done. Okay. This is not oh, Ron. Okay. Not Donnie, Ron. Ron. Ron's like the main boss of, of the bar loans. Donnie's just some dude that's in the bar loans. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, to him in my head, uh, uh, no, the bomb is no longer necessary. I thought of something else. Ah, uh, okay. And I, I, uh, I holster, I holster my weapon. Absolutely, you take your lethal weapon of justice and
uh, I say a plus, probably you can probably go like a plus three and then a minus two, so plus one. So 15. 15. Um, with a 15, look around. There's still some drones flying by, and there's a few prisoners, but no one seems to be going after you, necessarily. Well, I'm going to slowly turtle my way back to the cell. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, He's making his way downtown. <laughs> this is going to be really funny. Roll me a stealth check. <laughs> one. A, an exclamation point appears over the <laughs> Um, you start like, oh no, this is a genius idea. No one's, no one can even see you. Yep. Just say. You just see somebody pick up the radio and go, uh, gold, medium, this is, yeah, uh... POV from some other angle. A guard is, is, is at the top of the tower watching as this upside down, uh, Chandler's cart is going... <laughs> With that face, yeah. <laughs> as it's. Hey, uh, hey, Sarge, you might want to come out here and take a look at this. <laughs> and that's about the conversation that happens. As uh, after a few minutes, yeah, after just, a few minutes of gun, the uh, the the, the fucking face, he's like up there on the railing, really lifted up <laughs> from you, <gasps> and you're surrounded by about four guards holding batons. They're just looking at you. Assuming I have a disadvantage. But can I try to fight? <laughs> Roman attack, good sir. Rage! That's rage a nine. against the dying light! That's a nine. Um, you go to swing at one of the legs, and they quickly like move their leg out of the way. But you go uh, grab for the other leg, and he can't move that leg out of the way fast enough, as you manage to uh, grab onto his leg and uh, bite it at Roman T3 plus... Uh, oh god, you're probably doing ass. Oh, hold on. No, no you have, say a D3. Any... Let's just you have probably just the D3 plus two because your teeth are a little dulled. Your teeth have been dulled, but you've been here long enough where they've regrown a little bit and they keep they keep redulling it, so you're at that point where it's like yeah. just barely sharp. And any any like uh, rabies or anything I can add? Uh, unfortunately not. To keep us clean here. Is uh is is gay contagious in this universe? <laughs> you've caught the gays! He absolutely takes five damage as you bite him. He's like, ah, you bastard. And they all uh, four of them you know, so swing sorry, down on you. Lost, sir. <laughs> uh, fa- I'm just going to fast forward to you getting beaten with several guards and taken to a uh, like a special location that we'll come back to. He's going to the pegging zone. After a, uh, a few hours. I like that. Um, oh. Why do you think after a few out? hours, Ron comes back to you guys. Uh, I think when closed is the cell door. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, how'd it go? Uh, I'm going to be facing, like, the wall. Uh, I'm going to pull out the baton. Okay. And, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pass it down to, um... Yeah, pass it down to the short man. Mm-hmm. He goes, uh, oh, all right. Uh, and, he, like, looks back to make sure there's, and, like, tucks it in close to him to make sure there's no one watching. Mm-hmm. And, like, presses... Presses one of the buttons and you see it pzzz, as sparks go all over the shaft of it. And the shaft. Oh, wow. Hey, uh. It goes down. Hey, could, uh. Could you use those charges, uh, the electricity in there, to charge a battery? Uh. I mean. I. I. I, I don't know. Fair enough. Well, well no. what about. Uh, oh, you do this shit for a living. This point is probably close to empty. <laughs> no, that's that, that that time I wasn't even because I already finished the flashlight oh, right before. Um, I uh, I fucking I look at it and see if I can like unscrew the bottom. Like it's a fucking plastic toy. Just like yeah, you don't even need to give me an engineering check because you can. The deep batteries pop out. Is you can take your little uh, your little thing and if you blunt it up a little, your blunt up your new weapon just a little bit, you can get it as a flathead. I uh, fucking hate rolling. And uh, you can. Unscrew the battery, and uh, you have a brand new battery. Uh, it's a standard size battery. Okay. Twenty charges. Uh, well, uh, well, uh, I guess this is useless now unless you guys got another battery. Um, I, I don't, hey. need, I don't need the battery right hey, now. You can uh, still obliterate a man's balls with that thing. Uh, I, I, I was just, I was just wondering for for future reference. Cup check. Uh, there. Uh, I don't, I don't need oh, it. I, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't need it. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about balls. Huh? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you don't need it. I got you, but I... Listen, these things are, uh, 
kind of uh, close to useless without the battery. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, it, uh, what I'm saying is, put the battery back. I don't need it right now. I was just wondering for future Wally, reference. may you please put the battery back? I just, please. but I just got this nice battery. I don't, why would I want to put it away? So that I can use this, well, you could use this as a, um, uh, uh, what do you call a, uh, a self-defense item. Unless we come up with a better use for it. I, I mean, what if you You want to fucking chop your nipples with it? What? I, I, I'm just leaving our options yeah. open. Electrolyze the hydrogen outside That's of fair. the That's fair. I mean, you do get a little lonely in the cell sometimes. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen you guys. I mean, if, uh, yeah. What? Do you put the battery back? <laughs> Dana trying to like retort with a different face is just And he like closes the lid and just Gay? Just, just like hand screws it. Well, uh that's nice. Um I guess you can keep this. Okay. For now. For now. Um Good news and bad news. Good uh, news. Good news is we are one step closer to escape. Uh, the bad with news. Every passing day, with we stray further from God. <laughs> ah, I love that movie. Uh, bad news is uh, it's probably not in the way you want. Uh oh. Flip my keyboard and weed fell out. What the fuck, Tara? You're a nasty ass bitch. Yeah. Can I come over to that house? I want. I like that. Take house. me to your friend's house. house. Uh, Sounds like a nice house. How, how so? Uh, a certain someone was asking around and found that uh, a couple certain other someones were um, uh, seen on cameras. I think if they get a little upset about what happened over with uh, poor Charles, uh, some of us might be a little bit closer to, uh, uh, how do I, I'm trying to say this in a nice way other than saying you fucked up and now we're going to checkpoint one. Uncle Stan from Gravity Falls asked, Donnie ass dude. It's not Donnie, it's Ronnie! It's Ron, not Ronnie. Ronnie is someone else. It's Ronnie Barloni. It's Ronnie Baloney. Oh, he's pulling it out. He's pulling out the note card. He's pulling out the Taking note card. Take me to your best friend's house, as there is Don, Donnie, Ron, Ron 2, Ronnie, Tom, Tony 1 through 4, Gianni, Giovanni, and all. I was okay. gone for a second. LOL. Laughing out loud. Lol, that Thank is you, funny. Tara. Thank That's you, Tara. Great. Very cool. Wow, Tara. I'm um, so impressed. Well, I don't know for sure what's gonna happen to you, but someone got a, a certain a certain known face amongst us on camera, and they're probably gonna take you to a more uh, high security place. They might force you to uh, scrape all the weed out of your keyboard. I don't. I've never had weed grown in my keyboard. Uh. It, okay. Can you, who who was it? It was you. Oh shit. Just do everything was good till you touched your little uh your little doodad and uh fucking had your face for the whole world to see. Damn. You were just like, frick. Um, Donnie, I can't find Donnie. I don't know what he is. He's probably gone. I can't find all. I don't know where the fuck all is. Um, it's going kind of south. Uh, but good news is you are a, technically checkpoint one is closer to. Uh, getting out of here than we are. You know, checkpoint 14 is a bit farther away from checkpoint one. Uh, problem is, it's a lot more high security. Yeah, that's um, unfortunate. I got a couple options though. Okay, I've been talking with some people. Uh, we could either there are certain places underneath the ground, little maintenance access ways, little uh, places of uh, um, uh, of. Uh, um, my brain stopped because it's really hot in the cell. I apologize. A special occasion. No, it's uh, the maintenance hall. You, you've been there. The maintenance hallways where the where the pipes go from here to the from here to the ocean. You can hide out in there if you want to avoid being moved somewhere by security. Tell me, you tell me, I need the sh we need the Shawshank it if we're trying to get his ass out of here. Uh, maybe I don't. I really don't know what's gonna happen to him. High security people's a, kind of a big deal. That could be miles of maintenance pipe. That's true. I mean, that's how far is checkpoint fourteen? Was that like fucking uh, uh, 
a couple, that could be a couple hundred miles. Even. But, I don't know, it's, it's up to you guys. I can ask around if you have, if you need information, I can, you know, see what's happening, but. Do I remember, uh, do I remember a certain size of the maintenance pipe? Oh yeah, they're a little bit larger than human size. And they do probably go on for miles and miles. Uh, you've... I might be able to make like a simple little uh, RC. You could like get into the pipe. If you can get in the pipe, I can make a little device that you can lay on. And then it would and then it would supply so the uh, force these, so you don't tire out. Yeah, these pipes the go fluids. either bring water in or send uh, waste water out towards the ocean. Um, and there's access ways on either one side or the other side of them. And they do go on for miles and miles and miles. Um, occasionally there are some other smaller miles pipes or smaller sets of wires. Sorry. Is it 500 miles? And uh, I would walk 500 miles. I mean, if yes. you want a, a fast exit out of here, you could find your way into one of those pipes, one of those waste pipes, and all the way out to the ocean. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, or what a relief it is. I don't know how that works. Okay. Can we bless them? Oh. Hey, you're not here all. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna assume that uh, that plan is gonna fail because my dice hate me. So, um. Yeah, get like 14 other dice. Yeah, we can make some more using. Uh, I got two uh, bedposts left. Wait, I, I got my own. I have Still one bedpost left that we can use. Because someone's been using them all. Yeah, we can, we can use the last bedpost. Yeah, I know. Some dice out of it. Uh, I think. Higher security, huh? Yeah, that's certainly you know, I'm not. Thinking, a, that's that's certainly not the best friend. If you're a uh, a bomb building type, or an RC building type, maybe. Uh, you have to tell few, me I'm like a fucking. A few little boom booms at checkpoint one. You're gonna have to. I mean, we're not getting out by ourselves, but you know, we get enough people to uh, stone those gates after a couple boom booms go off. I don't know. Seems like a wolf Stone for me. the gates. What are we a fucking army? Down. And I guess we blow up certain. Uh, well, we, you would have, you would also have coastal access if you over at checkpoint one, you know. Me go to checkpoint one? I, I, I well, yeah. I don't know that he knows how. Uh, no offense, I don't know that you know how to build a submarine. No, yeah, I do not. Most certainly. I, if, it, if it makes you feel better, I don't either. We don't really have oceans on Hackathon. I do. <laughs> Who said that? I do. I do. I do. I'm like the snake in the walls in Harry Potter right now. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Eat your own ass. What? As he's following. <laughs> Harry's like. Uh huh. Ass. 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 Follow the ass. <laughs> Listen, do you guys need some time to think about it? Yeah. Do you want to take like a five, ten minute break? Yeah, sure. 15 minute break, maybe? Yeah, Open we Open the door and cool off? Yes, Open please. the door, get on the floor. This is an arrest. the dinosaur. Did I, did I say something wrong? Yes. We will we, be catching you. We will be back. They have catching... No, I'm never... We'll catch you <laughs> in the next episode. We will be catching...
Hey, quick fellas, you mind uh, being able to tell us who the drummer is for Motley Crue? It's very important, I swear. It's very important. Oh, I might end up having so a fucking list. dumb. It's like uh, Tom, no, Motley no. Crue Tom Sawyer. drummer. <laughs> Tom Sawyer. <laughs> Tom, Hardy. <laughs> Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. <laughs> okay, I, I have the drummer name on me. I have the drummer name on my person right now. This is gonna kill me. Hold up. Rango Star. He needs to guess it. I want to say Bill Ward, but that's the f that's that's the fucking drummer for Black Sabbath. It's Tommy something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I don't think too hard about this. It's Tommy something. Jones? I don't know. It's Tommy Crew. No, <laughs> um, don't think too hard about this. It's pretty simple. I know, I know it is. Tommy Lee, there you go. Fuck off. It was Tommy Lee. It makes you feel better. We had to fucking Google it. <laughs> I, and I'm sitting there like, I know Tommy. his first name. I know his first Welcome name. Welcome back to the shitting show. Uh, Tommy I got Lee. Did I get that right? Tommy Lee. Cool. He released one too. Mm. Thanks, guys. I shit. Damn, Weird he released show. a fat shit too. Yep. Damn, he's just like the rest of us. Who, who is that chick? He was I take a shit chick. one pant leg at a time. All right, guys. I tell That's you, like the down. rest of us. You know, something, something elephant, something, something bite at a time. Welcome back, everyone. Um, here it's Miss here Demeanor it's and up. Oh yeah, it was Pamela Anderson. <laughs> that sounds about right. Have you guys come to any conclusion? I can come back to you guys if you want. Uh, we didn't talk about anything. I know. Um, Earl likes torture. You want to go high <laughs> like wanna the go? fucking Like the movie series of like that old dude that was called Earl? My name is Earl. Earl. Name is Earl. My name is Earl. Uh, so you want to go high security or you want to go through the pipes? Well, Man. building the pipes seems easy enough. Stuff. What? I don't know. to figure out how to get into the pipes in the first place. You <laughs> should be able to get a hold of something to help making make getting through the pipes easy enough. Yeah, but like a hundred miles ish. It uh, could be a hundred miles. I I don't know. Um, there might be there might be some easier way of getting through there besides just walking though. You know? Because I might imagine you're not just gonna. That's what I'm I don't offering. Know what that guy is. I'm I'm saying there might be an easier way. Oh no, it's Thomas Lee Jones from Motley Crue. What? The oh, popular no. <laughs> band from the end of the second millennium. If you guys want to go that way, I think from the 1800s. Let me talk, let me talk to some people. I, if you guys want to go that way, I the can uh, maybe think about, you know, get, get, work something out, you know? Ending, wow. uh, we could end poverty. Maybe this is like a, a soccer situation where going to the high security place is actually good. It'll help well, it, there's probably going to be a lot of angry people there, so yeah, it might be true. a little bit easier to rile people up. That's true. That's true. <gasps> Man, there's no gas. I, my brain is just not functioning right now. That's it's fair. It's too hot. That's fair. I can pour this all over you. Yeah. Right yeah. Cool down, bitch. Cool down. Give me, I a, vote. give me a fort safe, good sir. It's probably gonna be a plus. Uh, probably gonna be a plus eight for you. It's probably gonna be I a vote. Plus. I vote for the pipes. Both. Total or with a plus eight or four? Oh, with the plus oh, eight. Gotcha. Vote for the pipes. I'll go for the pipes. All right. I I gotta talk to people because it might be. It might be some people who could uh, get us a little bit there faster, you know. If you just rub yourself in some like butter, slide through the pipes. Hey, that's a good idea, mysterious voice yeah. in the distance. <laughs> Fine, you've seen Winnie the Pooh. He got rabbit out of that hole. <laughs> oh, he lewed him up all right. There's it, the pipes a little bit bigger than that, there, buddy. Mister, Mister Alien Voice from out of nowhere. I'm just some random security guard. Mm. I'm no security guard. Like, you could hey, move yourself You? Off. No, I don't know. You who I am come right too. Now. Oh, no. Bro, he's coming! Oh, you come too. He's oh. like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. You look around and you're kind of delirious. And you open your eyes and you can, you're bombarded still with the sound of 
of music playing uh, from some boombox or some speaker in the corner. And uh, you look around, there's, uh, there's people talking all around you. And uh, you see Ron in front of you as you're uh, like coming to. And he's like shaking your shoulder as you're like barely being able to hold up your head. Like, bro, you good? Ron? Yeah, Ron. Ron, he's the main leader of the bar, of the bar lines. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, you come to, and Ron's shaking your shoulders. You're just barely coming to. Bro, you gotta hold your fucking alcohol, man. Yeah. You cannot hold your own. Yeah. You, can look, you look around, and uh, you are in some bar. Uh, you don't. You can't even remember what the name of this bar is as you're looking around. Uh, it looks like they even have two stories to this bar. As there's a, the actual bar is there, but there's a balcony up above uh, where people are talking about all, talking about whatever. Their voices just go on and on, uh, droning along with the music. Uh, you can see in front of you a number of empty shot glasses are piled in the corner, and uh, sitting across from you is a uh, kind of a pale-skinned human that is uh, completely passed out on the table. Uh, Ron's sitting next to you and is like. Well, between you and me, uh, you lost. You passed out a little bit before that guy. But let's let's get you out of here. We need to get you somewhere a little bit safer, okay? Okay, what's going on? What's up? Hey, hey, come with me. Come upstairs with me. Come upstairs. And he, like, picks you up and tries to lead you up. Give me another fort save. 18. Absolutely. <laughs> you can... You, you manage to stand up on one leg and start going forward, and you look up at Ron, and you can see as he's talking to you, he's like, listen, I gotta talk to you about something because some shit's going down, and as he says down, his face, his mouth starts to like open up over his entire face, and his head starts stretching out into this long, horrible form, and you can see this black aura coming out of his mouth around you, and uh, you're kind of like looking at him in fear, and he like slaps your head, and it immediately snaps back to normal. Uh, Bro, you good? Oh, you yeah, drink no way too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've been drinking way too much, I right. come, 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 come upstairs, we need to talk. He starts leading you upstairs. Can I take a bottle with me? Or... Yeah, yeah, you can, there, you can definitely gri- Give me a perception check. Six. Six. You don't quite see a bottle, but there's the shot glasses there from earlier. I'm gonna take them. You can take, you can take, uh, one, or take yeah. one empty shot glass with you as you go upstairs. We come back to you guys. There's Ron is sitting in the cell with you. Uh, do you want me to talk to some people? Talk to some people? Talk to us! I talk to you. See, the thing is, I know we, you all don't want to walk like a hundred miles. Um, I'm lonely. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Damn it, people I gotta talk to a mess. You know, I wanna, I wanna play chess with somebody that's not, uh, that's you not wanna go, So you wanna go to pipes? You wanna go to the fucking high security? Fucking checkpoint one. I wanna fucking, I wanna, I wanna clean some pipes, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Mez, uh, yeah. Uh, whatever gets me out of here Damn, you took a beating. Uh, you hang tight. I'll see you. See you in a few hours, and he leaves. Uh, you left alone with each other for a few hours. I'm, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I am lonely. You are lonely. The loneliness ends as uh, Ron comes back, um, <laughs> looking a little, uh, a little disheveled. It's like, okay, get, get your things. Come on, we're going. We're going. We gotta leave now. Gotta I, leave now. I, I quickly follow. Yeah, quickly follow. Uh, uh, you got anything to like cover your heads with? I know there's no hoods, but you got anything to like cover your face with? How anything? long? Um, take my jumpsuit and I pop my. Collar. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. No. Uh, or uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I'll, I'll find an old towel or something and, uh... Okay, yeah. You can take a bed sheet and, like, yeah. grab it up on your head. Mm-hmm. That's a cool... Right, listen, I just need you to cover some of your face. Uh, I'm going somewhere. So I talked to a guy. Uh, there's a certain, uh, Kasafa individual who, uh, I think can get us out a little bit quicker. Problem is, is he doesn't have a way past checkpoint one, which means, uh, you're probably gonna help him break whatever fight happens. Yeah, I'm assuming he said something about breaking through the gate. Uh, I, if you want the fastest way out of here, that's probably the best. Just, just follow whatever he's doing. Uh, 
how do we, how do we get across the land bridge though? Uh, I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know how to get past that. But if you want to get off of if you want to get off of control, that's the best way to do it. Fair enough. I told them that we'd be part of it. Uh, but if you all and him make it to the other side, uh, he's probably gonna have to uh, call in that favor, you know. Yeah. So let's hope he gets killed, huh? Uh, he says that as he's letting you guys out, and uh, he leads you to the uh, the hazing room ritual, that little janitor's closet, mm-hmm. and uh, takes one of the lockers and heavily pushes this thing out of the way. I yeah, you shove it out of the way, and there's a. Uh, I, I, I pretend that I'm uh, being involved in the pushing, but I'm not, I'm, not putting, yeah, I'm not putting that effort at all. You push it out of the way. And uh, there's a little cross space that he has in there that goes forward and then down. He's like, uh, you want to lead the way? Anyone? It's a yeah. straight path. Just follow the path. All right, I'll, I'll go. I don't want to hear, uh, I don't want to smell those, uh, uh, you silky farts. Oh, yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, you want to smell what a silky fart smells like? <laughs> he, leads, he leads you down. Not at all. He leads you down. Or he follows you down. As uh, Immediately as you dig, or as you go forward, it drops about 10 feet, but you quickly, you know, like, kind of hit your head on the ground, but you keep crawling through. And it, it's comfortable for you. There's a little bit of roomy for you, but it's pretty tight for you. Mm-hmm. Um, as you start managing to crawl through, and it's actually quite a distance that you're, uh, that you're crawling. And... Uh, you eventually pop out in a, uh, a small underground chamber, very similar to where you were fixing water pumps. That was cool. Not what I meant to do. Uh, you can see that this is actually a similar but much larger space, and uh, looks to be a, uh, a waterway that separates half of this from the other half. And uh, there is a very s- uh, small makeshift raft, uh, maybe a little skiff of some sorts on the water, and a kasatha uh, waiting at the helm. I listen. Uh, you told me. Just, just, just be nice, okay? Just let me do the talking, okay? And he, he, uh, he approaches the guy, uh, says, exchanges a few words with him, and quietly he looks over to you guys. He looks, says something to the so to to Ron. And he turns to you guys. You guys got anything on you, like trackers or something? Um, you guys should be clean, right? Yeah, I, I have the baton. That yeah, should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Just the south, then you like whisper something to him. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. You got anything on you? Uh, there might be a tracker in the collar. It's a pretty realistic, uh, realistic uh, chance. Uh, that's actually a really good point. Yeah, it turns to stop and he says something. So, are we on the open ocean, or...? No, you are in a, a small waterway in some oh. tunnel, and as you're driving, gotcha. this thing probably goes on for miles and miles gotcha. and miles. Okay. Um, coming back to you, uh, Ron is leading you up the stairs. What happened, Ron? What, what about the fight? Uh, don't, oh. worry about, don't worry about the fight, don't... What? Don't worry, wait, what fight are you talking about? Uh, uh, Man, you've been drinking way too much. What's going on? At this point, you're you like half of the way up the stairs. Take a shot every time he says you've been drinking too much. Give me another fort save. 17. Absolutely 17. He's like, come on, follow him. And uh, you follow him up, and your foot starts to fall through the stairs, and you feel like you're gonna, your face is going to collide with the stairs, but it looks like it just keeps going away from, away from you. And then quickly everything just snaps back as you're like there standing up again uh, on the... Uh, on the stairwell, as like Ron looks at What's the big deal? What's taking so long? What the hell's going on, Ron? Ron, what's going on? What's been going on is you've been drinking too much. Uh, oh, take another shot. Listen, I just have a couple questions for you, all right? And then maybe uh, if you're feeling like you get some more drinks, huh? Uh, Ron, where are we? There's no. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Come on. Uh, doesn't matter. Come on. Oh, we're at the Toys R Us. You promised Listen. to get you a tricycle. Come on. <laughs> Listen. You just, awesome. you just barely was won from the, the 1900s. No, listen, you just barely won the fight, so uh, this will be quick, I swear. That was from the, the second millennium. Alright, I'm gonna. Yeah, he leads you up. up. 
leads you up and he starts pushing past people and you're looking at, uh, at all these faces. Uh, give me a perception check. One. Critness. You're okay, very drunk. It's hard to tell. Oh, thank you, Tara. We're you're looking around at, at, at uh, you're, you're, you're too busy focused on whatever the hell's going on with Ron uh, until you can look at all the faces of the people. Um, Do I vaguely remember like prison stuff or is it just... Oh, yeah. Okay. You, it was, I mean, you're still, like, just aware of that happening, and all of a sudden you woke up in this yeah, fucking weird bar. bar. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he leads you, you've been dreaming. He leads you up, up, after up, up the stairs and past the crowd of people. He's pushing in and out of people. You're following behind Mr. Ken. And he leads you into a small, uh, like, a small bedroom. And what's, looks happening? Like, what's happening? What's happening? Like, a very, very small fucking, like, apartment like bedroom. Those videos are like, it's like, hey, hey, come on. Global warming? Uh, housing crisis? Let's go. Oh, come on, man. I'm gonna go in. Play Gary's mm. with me and my and I'm gonna <laughs> make sure he goes in and I'm gonna keep the door open. You gotta hit your head pretty hard. Are you keep the seat? You just stand at the door with? Yeah, yeah, just for right now. It's like, going on? Uh, bro, you gotta, you gotta close the door, right? There's, uh, you gotta close the door. It's between you and me, you know? Gonna shut the door. Absolutely. Give me a sense motive check. Nine. Nine. Hard to tell what what's going on. Uh, you can definitely, you know, you have your suspicions, but it's hard to tell what the fuck he's thinking. Ron, what what's going on? Where how are we here? Listen, uh, you had too much to drink. <laughs> there was uh there was another Isoki that came by earlier. Do you remember? Do you remember some like he said he was a mechanic? Does that sound familiar? Stop by. Uh, it was the, just here a minute ago. Where the hell are we, Ron? There aren't bars where we're at. <laughs> what do you mean? Bro, Bro we've been hopping bars in, a, in fucking Maro for like, like fucking two weeks now. Yeah, something's not right, Ron. I don't get this. What do you mean what something's not right? Give me a fort save. Seven. I don't know. Something. You, maybe you've just been drinking too hard. Hard to say. Drink. Isn't what? that a 15? Could you get a plus 8 or whatever? I don't think oh, that is true. The plus 8, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you've got a pretty clear idea that, like, you were just in a prison. You yeah. were just beaten by guards. You're pretty sure about that. Ron, you... Ron, this isn't right. I'm, I'm gonna go right now. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. This will be real quick. I swear. I swear to you, this is gonna be... This, this is gonna take a minute, okay? Just a minute. All right. Do you well, remember that Isoki that came by earlier? I don't remember Some, any... Uh, Remember that? No, my brain is so messed up right now. I swear to God, we were in a prison, Ron. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You guy reaches into a little nightstand and uh, pulls out like a little, little, uh, almost like a, a fucking Polaroid photograph. And hands it to you, and it's Oliver. It's definitely Oliver's face, even though you're drunk. You know this guy? This is what he looks like. You, you, you've seen this guy, right? Yeah, some advanced interrogation technique. You've real. seen this, right? Quick. Just our oral knowledge. Yeah. Because Ron and him met before. Oh, yeah, he was the guy that was, yeah, you met. Because remember, he's, they they talked about, like, oh, Ollie, you should build a bomb. And he's like, meh, 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 and walked away. Okay. And you were like, what the fuck? And then he went to go find boots. And I know something's not right right And now. you, yeah, you're getting red flags from this. No, I don't know who that is. Wrong. Give me a bluff check. Uh, that's gonna probably gonna be a minus, like a minus two for you. Fourteen. I'm squashed. Mm. Yeah, bitch is getting interrogated right now. You don't, you don't remember, you, you've never seen this guy in your life. In my dream, but not here. In your dream? What do you mean? In what my dreams? Dream? When we were all in a prison, Ron. Well, don't you know we was all in a prison, Ron? Well, tell Ron? me about the dream, then. Tell me about that dream. No, do you remember Ron, anything about this guy? No. Anything about him? No. Yeah, he I was there. Remember, what, was his name? what was his name? All right. What was his name? All the stealing people's pets. Give me a, uh, <laughs> give me a bluff check. That's a 19, motherfucker. <laughs> Olive. Olive, all right. All right. Do you remember what he did? Do you, do you know anything about this guy besides his name, Olive? He was like a plumber or something. A plumber? This is yeah. this is like some weird like a <laughs> Mario kind of spoof of like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey Plum, is that you doing not to know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember him. He was like She said she was a me, Oliver. He said he was 18. Oh no. I swear! I swear! <laughs> what the fuck that accent came? <laughs> Jumping around, saving a princess or something. Sure. <laughs> did he? Did you get the sense? When, listen, in this so-called dream, when you talked to him, did you get the sense he was like up to something? Like, was he a fishy character? Everyone was in this dream. We were in a prison, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. That's a little insulting. You I were up to something too, Ron. What was I up to, huh? You. You 
Of course you want to break out. <laughs> I... Listen, I suppose, tell me what he was trying to do, all right? Because I know he was trying to do something. So what was he trying to do? He's I, trying to you reverse. said he was trying to break out. You Water said I was pressure trying to break out. So the pipes would blow up and cause a distraction. <laughs> give me a, uh, give me a bluff check. <laughs> Jesus, that's fucking big break. Hey, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is amazing. Redemption yeah. arc! Y'all just got saved by this man. <laughs> the the dumb dude turned out to be smart in there. He's just like, He's, Yeah, the fuck <laughs> the gentle giant character arc where he finally stands up for himself. <laughs> there he uh, is. Arl oh, gains 50 IQ points. Yeah, I know, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I play I play chess with him and he's sitting yes, like that's he's doing the chess the metaphor in his head. He's like, I'm uh, they're using me like one of them pawns. <laughs> one of them pawns. <laughs> a band roll for Evan. Dude. Yeah! Dude, this is fun. Ah! Is that right. Axel Rose over that there? Oh that my was. god, that's horrible. I can't believe so. <laughs> Listen, and you're sure he looked exactly like this. Yes. This is like a fucking exact photograph. Yeah, and you hired him. I hired him? You hired him. The fuck you mean I hired him? Oh no, you had a bunch of money and you Listen, hired him. Man. That is fucking weird. Anyways. I told you, weird ass dream. And now I'm here in a bar and I don't remember shit, you Ron. I want to go drink, Ron. Give me a fort save. I want to go home, Ron. Four. Four. Uh, I can't do that to us, I choke. That's all. Uh, yeah, um, She's he's like, like alright, listen, I appreciate that. Um, a couple other questions. There was some, uh, there was a, um, uh, what do you call them? The fucking antenna people. What are them uh, gay like, dudes? What are those Lashanta big fucking antenna people? You seen a guy like that before? Ron, you ever see a gay this before? Was a dream. <laughs> How the fuck do you know about this shit? <laughs> give me a, give me a intimidation check. Or, for, or diplomacy. Is it diplomacy or intimidation? What would, uh, you probably have a better intimidation. Yeah, I was gonna say intimidation. I you probably in. have, if it might have two for charisma, I'd say you probably have like a plus one total. Give you skills. Cool. So nine. Nine. <laughs> Unless you have an advantage, you have an advantage. I'm do that advantage roll. Wait, did you already use the advantage? What's that? Roll twice? Yeah, roll twice. He hasn't used the advantage yet. Yeah, and you, uh, you're supposed to use it on the fourth save, but it's alright. Oh. Well, you, use it now. Never mind. No, no, use it now. You haven't used it. Yeah, you might as well spend it. That's uh, nine, point. so it's a ten. 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 One save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he goes, listen, alright, listen, it's hard to explain. You were drinking really hard. You were talking a lot of things. Uh, a certain, some kind of so sort of people came through, alright? Listen, you just have to trust me on this one. So did you see Lashanta go in with him? Sure. I do remember like what he looked like. Sure. I'm just gonna start getting really like really angry, reserved, and just angry and just answering one because I'm not trusting this right now. Because in his brain, mm-hmm. you, one thing, cool, two people in his dream, and it's supposed to be a dream right now, and he warp face and shit. He, he's He's just like, Listen, yeah, n- right? eyes narrow. See if he, <laughs> see if he notices. Okay. Um, he, he starts asking, so is he like a big, tough guy, or like a little skinny guy? Do you remember? He'll kick your ass. Oh, oh <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Fuck. Cool. Um, and do you remember? Did he have any like jewelry on him, like a like a necklace thing, or maybe something on his wrist? Yeah, he had this. And I'm gonna take the the shot glass and just try to ram it. Yeah, give me a four. Ball. Give me a four save. That's a fifteen. Plus eight, or plus eight, yeah. Plus eight, yeah. Because so he's like, <laughs> you swing with this glass, and you do you chuck it, or do you hit him with it? Oh, I'm just trying to go like, like you know, like, you know how somebody like jams their yeah, palm so into somebody's I, nose. Yeah, you're you're doing that with a brain glass, and I'm gonna try to crush it on his throat. <laughs> Absolutely, you try and crush it on his throat, and you watch as your hand goes through, and his entire body turns to mist, and then all of a sudden, <gasps> you wake up, and you are in a blank white room. Uh, there are there is a doctor standing over you that looks like he's covering his face. He just got recovered from some sort of hit, and you can feel that your arms are tied down by something. And there's a couple of wires, or maybe like fucking pipes or something plugged into you. And there's things all around your head, holding your head in place. What are you doing? You put me in the matrix. No, I'm gonna try to uh, the matrix. As the the matrix. best I can out of whatever restraints are on. Give me an athletic check. That's a 19. 19 plus 6 is like, what, 25? Yeah. Absolutely. Root! You take the, uh, take, you break one of these uh, little wrist guards off. It looks I like there's some am Krogan! There's some cheap, Paul, cheap plastic, whatever, that's holding your arm in place, and then the same with the other one. And, uh, the doctor at this point is still recovering from that punch you gave him as you're freeing your neck, and it looks like he's 
reaching in for something on his uh, He on whips his waist. out his condom. And he's going to try and stab you with some sort of needle. All right, that's going to hit. Give me a fourth save, good sir. That's a 19, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you feel this uh, numbing sensation go through go through uh, your first up around. It's your arm, and then it's your other arm. And, and that just it. means you won't feel the uh, the sting when you jam your fucking fist at his throat. <laughs> and you feel your everything going black, but you like quickly realize that something's not right and just shake that feeling off. What are you doing? The doctor's standing over you right now. And he has the needle? He has a needle. Just He looks like he just put it in you, and then like... Uh, Took his the needle's still in you as he took his hand away and you're still shaking it off. What are you doing? I'm gonna take that needle and stab him with it. <laughs> Roll me attack to hit it, sir. Yeah, right the jug. Yeah. That's a twelve. Twelve save plus I think yeah, I gave you plus three with strength and then probably plus another three for attack. So uh, that's gonna be what? Eighteen total? Yeah. Well, uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be hit. Roll me a uh, roll me a T6 concern. Jugular. 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 Jerk him off. Jugular. Three. Absolutely. Uh, you stab this into his neck, and he reaches for your hand and yelps in pain as he manages to kind of free your arm, and that needle's still in, and you can feel that he's, like, as he reaches for it and pulls it out, his arms holds in that position, and then you see his mind, his, his eyes close, and, uh, and it just falls over. And you're alone. I'm going to go up and teabag him real quick. <laughs> you teabag him. You see that you are wearing his... <laughs> like you're right. You are not wearing, you're yeah. not wearing your orange jumpsuit. You're wearing some blue gown. Uh, a, very, a fucking hospital gown is what you're wearing. And uh, you can hop off of this, and uh, well, the wires on your head easily tear off. Uh, same with whatever else is, is on you. And you can see that there's... there's you're on some sort of little interrogation chair or a, a, a bed, and there's the, uh, the fluorescent light overhead, and the door going that way as well as all the cabinets with whatever might be in there. Um, can I try to open the door? Absolutely, go to the door and it opens up. I'm gonna peek out real quick, see if anyone's there. You look, and there is a, uh, there's a hall going one way and a hall going the other way. And it looks like they both turn, uh, both turn one right, one left, same direction. I'm gonna go right. So like go right, and then you look around the corner, no one appears to be gone. It looks like there's more doors, it looks like it goes down, and then maybe turns another direction. Thank you. Yeah, he needs it, dude. What's up? He got everyone got advantage. Woo! Like where? Just right now. Right at the bottom. That's Adam. Oh, oh, I missed red. I thought, oh. I thought it said for Wait, did you get another advantage? Or is that the no, first one? No, it's the same one. Oh, shit. I, I totally missed. That like looks my name. from here. It looks like Baroon too. I'll say that right here. Oh my god, I see it. Wishful thinking, I guess. Huh. Uh, you turn the corner and look. Looks to be no one there, and you can see doors on your left and right, presumably with people in similar situations. And you look past, and there's no one immediately that you see down this hallway. But you, again, you see doors left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way down. Probably, am I able, probably a couple. Am doors. I able to wait? Is it like windows or just doors? Uh, doors, and as you approach, there's a little uh, rectangular window, and you can look inside. Some of them have doctors in there that are busy doing whatever. World board certified doing whatever, doctors. and then there's some that are people just, like, sitting. Curing cancer. Sitting, yeah, alone so in there. I'm going to try to get out, and I'm also going to keep an eye, because I'm assuming no or any of these guys might be. Just anyone, because of what just happened, and I'm now awake in the middle of a goddamn, like, medical thing. thing. Yeah, um, give me a stealth check, sir. He's trying to kill 18. Oh fucking god. Yeah. <laughs> and then you start like quickly going through. Are you doing anything else besides just keeping watch and going through? Um, making sure that like, you know. Hiding underneath yeah. windows. Yeah, just making sure no one can really kind of see me looking for cameras up there. And look at the cameras. You don't actually see cameras funny enough. You do see vents, of course, for the ventilation, whatever you feel specific. Vent! That nah, was actually. Sussy bog. <laughs> Is there any way to get to the vents or? Uh, from here, no. If you. If you opened a door and then tried to climb on it, that's probably the best bet you have. But it would still be kind of a, kind of a risk, and you yeah. make a lot of noise doing it. Yeah, no, I'm still gonna keep trying to sneak. Yeah, keep sneaking your way through, looking um, to see if any of those are an exit door too. <laughs> yeah, you do. You go through the way you came, and it looks like as you go this way and you turn the corner, it you peek around, and it looks to be uh, some sort of facility where they start uh, bringing people in. You can see that there's a. Uh, it's almost like a hospital entrance. It's like what you're looking at from the side as you're like looking around. Uh, there's 
some people over at it, like a desk managing certain things. You can see there's uh, uh, someone bringing a uh, someone on a stretcher or one of those push stretchers down the other corridor, and uh, no one seems to be approaching you at the moment. There doesn't seem to be. Any. So there's the front door exit. I'm there's sure. the front door exit. There's the desk, and then there's the passageway in where you came. Passageway in where you came. And no, it looks like there's a little restroom over in the corner. But no like side. The side is what you can see now. Oh. Part of me wants to be palsy and try to just walk up the front door and be like, no, I'm all good in the gown and everything. But we're, I'm assuming this is a prison. Yes, so I'm going to, how far away is the restroom from the door I'm at? Well, you have to cross it in front of the desk, and it's probably about eh, 30, 40 feet away. Oh, screw that. I'm just going to try to hug stuff like by the desk and get myself positioned to the front door to just try to book it out. <laughs> Give me one more stealth check, sir. Fuck! That's a one. That's a one? Oh god, no. I just, start. <laughs> every single time I'm like, doing good, and then it's right when I'm about to leave, I get that one, dude. <laughs> yeah, you go, you go hide underneath the desk, trying to, uh, trying to be stealthy, and you're confident no one, uh, has seen you. And then you hear from the receptionist, like, uh, there's a lady sitting there, clacking on the keyboard, and she goes, Fuck. And it stands up and like looks around and then looks like across, like on the other side of the desk and fucking makes eye contact with you. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you do? I'm gonna try to look for the door. Okay, absolutely, you look for the door. Uh, she goes, security! And uh, by the time she says that, you've booked it all the way to the door. Uh, it looks like it goes into an airlock and you press the button and it psh, closes behind you. Uh, it's closed on that side and the other side of the few suits hanging on the side of the door. Changing into the suit, and I'm gonna suit. try to walk as casually as I can out of there. If there's no guns at me. Absolutely. Uh, you can quickly put on a smaller, probably soapy suit. Um, it's a little thin. It's probably for someone with a thinner frame, but easily enough you can do it. And uh, you press the door. He and fat. He fat. You press the door, and psh, you are outside, and you can see wherever you are is is a uh, like a long. Almost like city, uh, city, uh, Main Street. As uh, you see, there's uh, different people in security. Uh, hello. There's different people in security outfits, uh, walking pants. You know, get full body suit covering the face and everything. Uh, give me a perception check. As you look around, you five, five. Um, you look around, you see that there's small skyscrapers all over the place. Uh, some of there's some smaller buildings here and there. Uh, between them and some of the people walking by have different patches on their uh, on their on their breast and then on their back. Uh, no one seems to be noticing you as you kind of just stand there. I'm gonna start casually trying to get away from this hospital and more towards the the city. You said it's like so. You guess like if you're in the middle oh, of in the middle. Like, fucking downtown Man or uh, not downtown, just in the middle of Manhattan or it's like Times Square almost. Is there like what what can I see? Yeah, so the street goes down one way, and then if you follow one of those paths, it branches off into more uh, more streets. And apparently, as you can tell, it's like zero down and Assassin's Creed ball. Streets, and streets, and streets, and streets, and streets. So I'm just gonna go left this time and just try to cut my way away from wherever this hospital is and into the city. And can you even, can you even choose it? Sorry, let me, turn off, let me turn off the boombox. 
Yeah, you know. It's I always just do a different song. It's, it's instinctive it. at this point, you know. I, told them, I put it on a different song. We're good. The funny is the White Castle jingle. Anyways, uh, if you want to get that little, uh, little uh, necklace you got off, I he says he knows someone who's gotten their necklace off previously. And I'm thinking, hey, maybe she's got a way of getting your necklace off too. That would be that's not a bad thing. That would be really nice. Um, also, apparently, it's been uh, people have been a little agitated. Oh, by checkpoint one. I think you know uh, it escaped a little bit sooner than you uh, sooner than you expected. I hope you didn't have. I hope you didn't leave any friends behind. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't have any friends. You didn't leave any friends behind, did you? Uh, I don't have any friends. We uh we did, unfortunately. Who'd you leave? Uh, Besides the bottle loans, of course. Oh. Because I mean, I left all the bottle loans behind too. But it's all right. They're, they're tough guys, all right. They'll be about good on that one. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just talk about the bar loans. Oh. Um, there was also that uh, uh, that really racist guard. Uh, did you want to bring him with you? No. Oh, okay. I, I gotcha. Um. Uh, several more hours go by, and I'd say at this point, you guys probably end up taking a long rest uh, before the next day. All right, fair enough. Uh, so, so jot that down. Um, that changes nothing for me. It's just something for someone. I might use the street right now. <laughs> Bench round? Yes! Uh, should I just drink heavily and go with it, or? Dude, that's... Where is it? Bathroom. Haha, <laughs> bathroom whiskey, bro! That's what we're here for. Ooh. Okay, cool. Uh, whatever. Um, so far, I have not been too poisoned. So. <laughs> the morning comes to you guys. Bro, I'm coming? I said the morning comes, not you. Well, I am morning. The loss what, of my friends. What friends did you have? I don't have any friends. Oh, I'm a lone wolf. <laughs> I'm the lone wolf of this situation. Yo, that's that's what my brain sounds like when I'm hacking the mainframe. That's what my brain sounds like all the time. No, he's not. No, he's not. So, Baro is now an official street rat. Official street rat? Would they pull you off the planet and do that, or what? No, he's just in the streets, and he's a rat man. He's rat me! He's a street rat. Haha, uh, I've gone from prison merch to a uh, homeless rat. Yep. Are we able to use your hotspot? It's probably a really bad time. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, oh, we'd, have, we'd have to turn the uh, stream off. It'll be out for like two minutes, though. Goodbye. Goodbye, people. So we'll sorry. be I'm right so sorry. back, yeah, everybody. Shit came up. We need to yeah. uh, we need to change up uh, our uh, our stuff here. I am so sorry. But we will return shortly. He's not. He's not. 